Alright, so it's about that time of the week again, where we tackle Mobile Suit Gundam The Witch from Mercury. I missed out on last week's episode, so we'll be covering both episodes 3 and 4 today in terms of the reaction. I'll kind of slice things up so it's more, I guess, digestible in terms of my reaction so that the video isn't extremely long. But I'm looking forward to seeing what these two episodes have to offer for the most part. Um, <laughs> I know probably in some cases the series might be a slow burn in some sections, but that's typical Gundam for you. But again, the first, well, the prologue, episode 1, episode 2, were really good to me. So I'm looking forward to seeing what these episodes have to offer. But anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday. Of course, if you missed my stream on the recent chapter of the Sasuke manga that dropped this weekend, you can definitely check out my reaction and my review to that chapter definitely definitely check it out especially if you're a fan of Masashi Kishimoto's art definitely check it out but anyway I'll leave a link to that a card something <laughs> but anyway we're getting into Gundam let's see what this episode well these two episodes have to offer hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday by the way mm-hmm <laughs> <laughs> what what <laughs> I, i'm really loving the contrast between the conservative um suleta here <laughs> and Mirin, and of course the whole social awkwardness of um <laughs> of suleta Ah, so it really is her mom for real. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. I mean, it seems like all the children of the persons who are in the on the board for the Benaret group are at the school. So I guess interesting. <laughs> really? <laughs> Man said, give me a number! <laughs> Cute. <laughs> no, <laughs> calm down! Please, calm down, girl! <laughs> so let's just go easy the one. <laughs> Man, say yo. I have time for this, brother. But Soleta is as cute as ever. <laughs> and I got you she said, yo, eat properly too. All right, it's time. Let's go. Woo! Looking good so far. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yo, Jano Dog. This is like me playing it, like any Gundam game, like when my life I get low. I'm <laughs> yo, I'm going to me. Yes, me. Now, like, the OST, bro, like, still great. Hmm. 
Alright, two wins. <笑><笑>ボンバージャド <笑><笑><笑> Episode 4 <laughs> What? <laughs> Yo <laughs> No! Sleto! If I didn't mind that bro No! Dog! Bro! Sleto! Ooh. That, that that would be convenient. We can just change the color closer. We need we need some clarification, Google, cause we all know what you meant when you said marry. <laughs> Billy! <laughs> Kiko! <laughs> Yo, Suleta is so cute and funny, dog, honestly. And it's gonna be such a pain remembering all these guys' names. Ah, Elon. <笑>ご参加の連中はね私を手に入れたがってるのこいつだって私目当てで僕は君に興味ないよなこっちだって招き合わせてきた<笑><笑><笑><笑> Bombas, brother. Ooh, dog. I love her more with her hair, though. She's so cute. It's precious. It, it, it just gives me that. How should I put it? It gives me that Anya from Spy Family vibe. Like she's just so precious. She's gotta protect her, fam. Jeez. Ooh. Like, I love the persistence, but not lie. Like this one, that me like this say. I right, actually rate this girl really more now. Like she can not stand over the pink pops and thing. Actually, it seemed kind of cool. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, 
Boom Woods! Jeez, <laughs> 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 that last moment was so. Mm. <laughs> All right, so honestly, those are two real good episodes of Mobile Suit Gundam: The Witch from Mercury. I thoroughly enjoyed both episodes from the duel between Soleta and Ghoul in episode 3. So things being a bit more laid back for episode 4 but still having just enough to keep me invested in the story going forward and you know it keeps me looking forward to the next episode like episode 5 definitely looking forward to exploring not just the world but just the character dynamics and Soleta and her our adventures at the academy so what i'll say is that mm, ugh, the duel between episode three right the duel between Gwil and sleta definitely definitely great um i appreciate the just the character interactions between these two episodes episode three we get to see um you know Gwil well leading up to the duel between him and Soleta kind of learn more about what Soleta believes in and how she was influenced by her appearance and it seems because of that and through their duel and Soleta's you know genuine acknowledgement of him he has I, I don't want to say full-on fall in love but he's there's a certain level of respect that has grown there between Ghoul and, well, Ghoul towards Soleta and to a degree Soleta towards Ghoul in terms of just acknowledge his strength as I'm like a pilot and everything. So I, I, I really like that and of course throughout these two episodes, Soleta and her... <laughs> I guess her social awkwardness and not really interacting with a lot of persons outside of the you know the persons on Mercury and you know during her childhood before the whole incident with the the Mobile Suit Council and all of that like it really shows and I'm not, not gonna lie it kind of adds to her charm as a character props to the voice actress that's actually voicing her it reached she really does sell that nervous like kind of anxious <laughs> you know, I don't know. It just really sells the charm of the character, and I think it kind of builds this kind of endearing connection between the audience and and Soleta. She's 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 to be protected. Definitely a sweetheart, to say the least. Um, is there anything else I'm missing from episode three? Of course, I'm kind of talking about these two to one as a whole. But um, going through these episodes, we continue to see like in terms of the world building things outside the school, which I really appreciate is, you know, getting to see more of that social conflict between Urshans and Spishans, you know, and seeing how it's more rooted in the economic and, you know, social um, roots. As we saw at one point in episode four, where people on Earth were saying like they've given like over a year in terms of you know hard work and labor and taxes and things in space in terms of things you know them being compensated the right way in terms of social welfare and appropriate benefits. It seems like that's not exactly going how it should go, and the powers that be are more than don't don't seem really willing to change things as it stands right now regarding the status quo so that really kind of gives us more insight into the whole world as it stands right now outside of the school which i appreciate i love the school setting but this is like, like a traditional gundam series quote unquote and you know you it, it's important to really establish what's going to be happening what we have to look forward to when we actually move from the school setting at some point granted some of those factors and things that are influencing things outside the school setting they are also on the school compound probably to a lesser degree as we see even there's a there's tensions there between spatians and urshans people that are born in space people who are born on earth um in terms of like if they had spatian parents or urshan parents we saw those two girls that were <sighs> like sabotaging the whole test that Suleta and Choo Choo were doing and <sighs> honestly it, it's interesting it kind of I think it kind of goes to show that like sometimes as I suppose I'm not a parent <laughs> but as parents we can kind of pass things on to um the next generation that's 
aren't healthy and it can really manifest in certain ways on the school compound so that was that was nice to see as well um definitely love true true yo i mean she yo listen that last part where she just come out and just yeah. yo that was so refreshing bro love her and uh, it's just like the nuance between um with every character you know like from Soleta and finding out her you know what she's really striving for as a goal as we find out she's trying to establish a school on mercury and you know, we even saw her mom i mean lady prospera apparently is her mom apparently so i'm interested to just find out more about that situation in due time but yeah just finding out more about her and she has her list of things to do and it's it's cute and all and it's just the nuance between her the nuance with Gwil, because obviously there's more to him than meets the eye um whether it be his dynamic with Soleta or the dynamic between his brother or his father um Miorin herself she's seemingly very mature in the sense that where she was criticizing Chu Chu like she's criticizing or she's kind of putting down species and Miorin's like yo fam you're no different then if you're really doing that so it's just really the nuance with each character um, the charm and just whole endearment when it comes down to our main character, Soleta. The fight, the duel was decent. I didn't really have much of a problem with it. Of course, it's not wasn't as super high quality as that one exchange in episode one. But I mean, less things to animate, so understandable. But it was still good. Didn't really have a problem with it. Um, just the dynamics and just getting more information in terms of the social economic state of the world outside of the school but at the same time seeing how to a degree the status quo is still filtered in the school in terms of how people are treating each other between Spatians and Urshans so it's just a lot of things to actually we actually got a lot of stuff <laughs> between these two episodes I, I think and it just makes me look forward to the like this just getting more of this series for the most part i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie it, it's the contrast between soleta's i guess traditional conservative mindset like when she says stuff like yo i can't do it when i'm gonna when i'm married i'll be cheating and cheating is wrong and like it's just ah she's she's such a sweetheart which <laughs> i love her trust me but anyway, um, that was episode 3, episode 4 for Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury. Definitely, definitely a solid, 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 solid set of episodes. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction, review, and th overall thoughts on these two episodes. I'm looking forward to episode 5. Sanjuich here. I'll see you guys in the next MSG Witch from Mercury. Mm-hmm.